feels quite overwhelming to be honest. I saw the list of people and I thought, oh my goodness, I've got such imposter syndrome. Um, yeah, but it's really special and it's incredible you know, to be recognised really. And you know, this is from 2020, so it's been a long way. It's something I've been really looking forward to. And when I saw it, it was at the Principality Stadium. I kind of like, it made, it made me feel even more special about the day. You know, I remember coming here for the first match when the stadium had just been built. You know, it was still half, half, you know, building site. Um, you know, I came here for the World Cup final. I've come here, you know, as a reporter and to come here and you know for this graduation the ceremony is just really really special and it's amazing that I've been able to share it with my family as well so yeah incredible incredible day already and I can't wait for later yeah I think obviously there's definitely more women around you know the media and sports media but for me it's about representation for everyone so whilst yeah it's amazing that you know I get to have voice and a platform I want to make sure that I open the doors for everyone every you know, no matter of gender you know sexuality you know um, uh, race I want to make sure that you know sport media is a place where everyone can come and, and get the joys that I've had you know doing this job and you know reporting on Welsh sport which has been just you know absolutely incredible I, again, I think it's all about making sure that doors are open to everyone, you know, networking and ensuring that, you know, people see them on screen or, you know, behind the microphone. And I think we're still not there, if I'm being really honest. So I'm hoping that, you know, you know, moments like this, I can be a voice for those maybe who, are, who want to get into the sports media industry and know that there is a path. Because I've not done it, the, the, you know, the normal way. I've only come into it three years ago in a completely different path, which for me shows that, you know, it doesn't matter really which way you go, that if you just stick to what you believe, then you'll get there in the end. Yeah, I think the main thing is that, you know, don't be put off by what other people are doing. Everyone has their own journey, their own story. And I think, you know, really kind of believe in your inner inner feeling. Because for me, you know, I, you know, I was, you know, four years ago, I'd never even done any reporting. And here I am now with this incredible honour. For me, it's like blocking all that noise out and just having real belief and listening to the people around you that matter most.